Okay, so um, before we get any further, I'm going to go ahead and label um, label this um, on this label. I want to make sure that it's right side up here when it's hanging. So, um, this label has in um, the patient's name, room number, um, the drug that has been added to this, um, the amount of the drug that's been added to this, my name, the base solution, as well as the date, the time, um, the start time, and the, our flow rate is going to be on there as well. So, so after we've got that ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Clean the top of this off really good. And this medication port, awfully handy. That's what I'm going to use to insert the medication. I have my needle here. And again, we're going to be um, using two milliliters. So I have um, just a three milliliter syringe here. and pull out and pull two pull my two mils of medication out Sure, no how many air bubbles. Alright, good to go there. So then I can go ahead and insert my medication into. shake but mix that up really good and then I can go ahead and open up my tubing back tubing. I can making sure this stays sterile as well as that stays sterile. I can spike my bag. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hang this. Um, I'm gonna use the Why you make sure this is closed before you hang that up? Oops. Okay. So um, I'm gonna use this to um, allow gravity to be my friend. Eek. Hopefully that's gonna just fall. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, um, with this being closed, I can uncap this and connect this to the, um, to this port. But since this has been kind of out in the open, I'm going to clean it off really good first, both sides. Might as well clean this too. Really 
probably also wouldn't hurt to go ahead and label this tubing as well. I don't have another label for it right now, but um, then you can, okay. So I went ahead and um, got my drip rate all ready to go. With this one, it's gonna be really slow. Three, uh, three drops for 15 seconds. So I've, um, you set it on this main line, um, on this main line of tubing, however you can climb this, get it about half full. And then I can open this up and it should be right at about three drops per 15 seconds. So once I make sure that that is indeed how it's running, um, I'm going to check to make sure that um, I'm that my the patency of my IV is still good and um, make sure that I'm not seeing any signs of infiltration um, or any discomfort from the patient um, and then once this is done um, infusing I can go ahead and stop it And um, take it off, and then I can discard this part. And I want to make sure that I go back and set my flow rate um, onto my main my main flow rate back up, and then I can. Well, I want to take this off first before I start setting my flow rates. Hang this back up and then make sure that you establish the flow rate back to, uh, what did we have it at? 20 drops a minute, so about seven drops every 15 seconds. And so once we've got that set back up, again, I would time it using a timer for the sake of the video, I won't do that again. Um, and again, make sure that you are all good here, making sure you don't have any infiltration or anything like that. And, um, and you should be good to go. Thanks.